Friends, this is Salem Church in Etiwamba County, Mississippi. I'm going to show you who I believe is Elvis Presley's great-grandfather and how I believe his last name should have been Wallace and not Presley. So friends, we're at Salem Cemetery in Etiwamba County, Mississippi. It says Etiwamba County, Mississippi was the beginning of the Elvis Presley family. John Wallace and Rosella Presley's son, Jesse D. Presley was the father of Vernon and grandfather of Elvis. John Wallace is buried at Salem Cemetery, Etiwamba County. Rosella Presley is buried at Ridge Cemetery, so we're gonna go there. The rest is history. So this shows you that was the beginning of Elvis Presley family. John Wallace and Rosella Presley's son, so you see he kept her name, not the father's name. John Wallace was Jesse D. Presley's father. Jesse D. was Vernon's father. And then you have Elvis and Jesse Guerin. Yep, right there. It's right down there. Let's go see. Stay tuned. We're going to go right straight down here. We are looking for the person that some say is Elvis's great grandfather, which would have had children with Roselle. Rosella Presley, and she just never married any of them. And there were several of them. She had 10 children. And there's going to be people that say what I'm saying is not true. But she had 10 children with three different men. And they say that Elvis's grandfather, Jesse, this would have been his father, John Wallace. He died November 17th, 1935, so the year that Elvis was born, he died. Right there. So he knew of Elvis? Uh, maybe. January? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So that's 50, 53, so that was 47 years, so he was old, he was 82. He lived, so he lived a, a long life. This is Elvis Presley's great-granddad. This would be his great-granddad. So this would be... Vernon's granddad. This would be Vernon's granddaddy. This would be Jesse's father. So they have it wrong on there. He didn't say great-granddad on that. So this would be great-granddad. This is John Wallace's is Elvis's great-grandfather. That's right. But the deal is, is Roselle Pre Rosella Presley, and I think that's the correct uh, pronunciation, Rosella never married. And she had like 10 children from three different men. John Wallace, supposedly three of them. Yeah. So for instance, Noah was, had a different father than Jesse. Had a different father than right. Okay. So Noah's father, it wrote, the grandmother was the same. Their mother was the same, different father. So Noah's father was a different father than Jesse's father. So, but it's really Vernon Press, I mean, Vernon Wallace? It would be Vernon Wallace. So it's really Elvis Wallace. It would be Elvis Wallace. I did a video about that. So if she had ever married, she would have taken on John Wallace's name for those children, theoretically. Right. But she never did. So the the her maiden name, Presley, was passed down to the, to the kids because she never married. Wow. Somebody needs to come and clean it. Yeah. So it would have been Elvis Wallace. That is incredible, Billy. Yeah. And it's right here. So if you come to the church and you park where we're parked right there by the sign and just walk right straight down, you'll see it right here. This person won a Grammy. And it turns out the sign is not wrong. It's just written weird. It's saying that John Wallace and Rosella, son, Jesse, was the father of Vernon and grandfather of Elvis. So it's actually talking about John Wallace, but it's pointing out that Jesse was the grandfather, which is kind of odd. John Wallace would have been the great-grandfather. So in this next segment, I'm going to explain how this could have happened and what I think really is the truth. Stay tuned. So friends, we just did the video about these graves right here, and we brought up Noah. 
you see Noah E. Presley, and there's some other Presleys there, but I want to specifically talk about Noah's brother, Jesse. Jesse was Elvis's grandfather, Vernon's father. And very few people know very much about Jesse. His name was Jesse D. McDowell. J.D. Presley is what they called him. And although many books say that him and Elvis's grandmother, Dodger, Minnie Mae, got divorced, there's no evidence that they were actually ever married. There is a marriage certificate and divorce paperwork that says J.D. Presley, but it's actually John Presley. And this is Jesse and his second wife, along with the Ford Fairlane that Elvis bought him and gave him in Louisville, Kentucky. And that's not what I, this story is about. This story is about Noah and Jesse's mother. Her name was Rosie Elizabeth Presley. You see, she died in 1924. And Rosa, or Rosella, as some called her, did something very unusual for that time. And that was she had children out of wedlock. And she didn't have one. She had ten. So here's the rub. Read her name. Rosella Elizabeth Rosie Presley. Her last name was Presley. That was not her married name. You see where that says great-grandma of Elvis Presley? Mother of Jesse Presley, she was never married but had 10 children and gave them all the Presley last name. So now we're going to look at a list of the fathers of the children. Let's check this out. So if you look right here, it says beloved mother of Walter, Father William Steele, Essie, Dosia, Noah, they've got it spelled backwards, and their father was Thomas Huzzy. So each one of these kids had different fathers. Jesse the grandfather of Elvis, Calhoun, Mac, Robbie, and Joseph, and another one they don't know the name of, their father was John Wallace. That's right, John Wallace, not John Presley. So to put two and two together for you, that means his name should have been Elvis Aaron Wallace, not Elvis Aaron Presley. Jesse's mother went against all tradition in a time when it was very frowned upon to be an unwedded mother, and not only had one child out of wedlock, had 10, gave them all her maiden name. So I believe that God used things in biblical times that were non-traditional, if you will, to set things up that he wanted to happen. I don't believe he was ever meant to be Elvis Wallace. I believe he was meant to be Elvis Presley, even though it went completely against tradition in a time where I'm sure she was very looked down upon by other people in her community. So now you know it should have been Elvis Wallace. So here's a list of the children. This is only eight of them. Supposedly there's 10 total. But what I wanted to point out was that Noah that you saw in the cemetery at Priceville was half brothers with Jesse. They had two different fathers. So now you know a little bit more of the Elvis puzzle. Elvis Wallace doesn't have the same ring. Elvis Aaron Wallace. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.